Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin career mode in Season 4. We're down to the final three races of the season. It's going to be an incredible battle for the championship. We have got Lewis Hamilton versus Carlos Sainz and currently there are only eight points separating number one and number two in the championship. Will Lewis Hamilton get his long-awaited eighth world title? Or will Carlos Sainz break his duck? That is going to be the question today. I think Mexico always a fantastic Grand Prix, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys are too. If you're excited for the finale of this season, then give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more F1 Manager videos. We are going to be moving teams at the end of the season, um, and I will show you how to do that uh, in a video between... Um, between seasons if you like um and we will be joining mclaren for next year so we're going to keep an eye on their progress as well they are in a battle for sixth in the championship with alfa romeo it would be great for us if they could get um get that that sixth place daniel ricardo doing his best to what single-handedly take alfa romeo to glory kevin magnuson really outperforming sebastian vettel this season uh, leclerc outperforming perez russell you know doing three times as well as pierre gasly which is is pretty crazy i had a lot of criticism at the end of last season when we let go of gasly but i think we've been very much um vindicated in our decision but uh, without further ado let's get ourselves immersed into the action and uh, first things first we've got lewis hamilton and a dev point for him we'll pop one on his adaptability so all of his attributes are now um 94 or more which is crazy we've got two development points for piastri who is more than likely going to be the uh, driver that we try and team up lando norris with for next season that would be rather awesome if we could do that so um yeah uh, in between episodes i did set off another little bit of research you can see uh, we now have uh, the final three projects underway for underfloor, front wing and rear wing to be done by the end of the season. Uh, we're going to leave Aston Martin in as good a position as we can and we'll see uh, how it goes next season. Let's just have a quick look at staff so we can give one to uh, Pierre Vaca, which is nice. Nobody else has one currently. Right, into the race weekend we go then. Let's see how we get on in the Mexican Grand Prix. is in the air this weekend but it's not mariachi we'll be hearing it's going to be the roar of the engines and the cheers of the crowd formula one is back in the very heart of mexico city at the autodromo hermanos rodriguez this is an exhilarating circuit on the formula one calendar we'll be sure to see plenty of battles and overtaking this weekend especially with the help of not one not two but three drs zones with the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. Stay right here, because we're just getting started. Right, okay then. Uh, looks fairly cloudy for Sunday, so probably going to be absolutely fine with all of that. So without further ado, let's get into qualifying. Just uh, double check the expected strategies this weekend. Could potentially use some soft tyres, but generally it's going to be mediums and hards. So let's get into the action. Right, let's get ourselves into qualifying then. As always, we'll get uh, involved in Q1. Been enjoying that recently, so let's continue with that trend. We've been performing quite well as well, so um, let's see if the slipstream is anything to go for um, in this one. We'll see if Lewis can outperform Carlos Sainz here. And let's uh, hop on board with the seven-time world champion, hopefully soon to be eight-time world champion. Um, although that would imply that I've got a, a preference of who comes out on top. Which I very much don't before... Oh, Lewis has been held up here. Lewis has been very much held up. 
and I'm assuming that's Nicholas Latifi. No, it's Yuki Sonoda, but... Um, we'll now need to conserve. Um, we won't do that either. As Carlos Sainz goes purple. And just charge the pack. We'll see if Lewis can prepare the tyres nicely. And get a time in on his second run. Purple in the first two sectors for Carlos Sainz. We're now going to push. push with yep. Lewis Hamilton. Carlos Sainz, of course. Coming around the final corner. And what's that going to be? It's a 116 flat, which is fairly decent. I'll tell him to not fight his teammate. And fingers crossed, he will just get out of the way of Lewis, which is exactly what he's done. And now Carlos on his way back to the pits. Here comes Lewis Hampton through that first sector. Green on that first sector. Let's potentially just drop Lewis back down to balance here. Lifting coast just a little. Uh, okay. Otherwise, he's not going to make it back, is he? Just going to need some lifting coast. I'm going to call him in straight away here and Lewis goes third that's not a bad time but I am a bit worried he's not going to make it back to the pits which would mean Lewis starting well back Ad he's not going to make it back is he? goodness me oh no ouch Well, that was uh, unplanned. Stop, 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 stop. Hopefully, um, Meza Signs manages to get through. Uh, that's it for the session. I'm absolutely good. <laughs> you can probably hear it in the silence. I mean, that is um, a dreadful result for us. Hamilton would have easily made it through. Um, but instead, he is going to be starting in 15th. Now, it might be worth giving him a brand new fresh engine. Um, hang on a second. Are they allowing us to go out there with Lewis again? I assume not. I assume not. Um, but if they do, then we won't complain. Uh, yeah, Lewis is going to have a brand new set. Carlos can use the old ones. Now nah, Lewis is out. Lewis is out. Yeah, really, it's good. Right then, let's get signs out there straight away, see how he gets on. Stop, stop. Stop on board with him. He's fighting with Max Verstappen, I don't think that's going to have done him any favours. Sixteen three. it might be enough. 
annoying because he probably would have been a lot quicker than that, but uh, had to fight with Max Verstappen. So we might put him, pop him on a new set of soft tyres. Yeah, I think we're going to have to because Ocon's below and the two Mercedes. There's no way that that's safe for Carlos Sainz. We're actually going to send him out first. See if he can pick up the slipstream. Towards the end of his lap. <clears throat> so here we go then, Carlos Sainz. First out there. Trying to avoid any of the nonsense. And he shouldn't really catch up to anybody on this lap. But we're expecting him to pop up in uh, at least second here. But, um, yeah, Lewis Hamilton. We could well see a, a big comeback from him in the race but uh, Carlos Sainz has definitely got the big advantage here and that was my bad green in the first sector for Carlos Sainz means he improved on his previous time had a spin. somebody's had a spin somebody's had a spin was it Perez it is Perez uh, it looks like quite a big accident yeah. now could be. that could be big because some of the Yellow rivals flag ahead. Flags ahead. of yeah. signs um well one, there's no yellow flags now so it, it's okay <laughs> i was gonna say some of the the rivals of signs were ahead of perez on track therefore yellows will not um cause a problem but they haven't caused a problem for carlos signs he flies around the final corner and he goes up to the line and it's going to be a 59 which puts him just a tenth off Max Verstappen, um, but realistically two tenths, and that should be more than safe enough. Hold on. And let's see how everybody gets on coming through. Vettel has gone quickest with a 15.7. Where did he pull that from? But uh, Ocon couldn't improve, and he's out in Q2. But Hamilton is the big casualty, of course. Ocon also out and Pierre Gasly in the Mercedes is also out so Carlos Sainz he can have two runs at it really 83% yeah. okay let's go for it then Carlos Sainz it's your chance to shine and show that you are the team leader out ready. there Let's get him straight out. Yeah, all good. Let's see how he gets on on this set of soft tyres. Now, annoyingly for signs, there are a couple of forks out there. The McLaren is just going to pop out on the right-hand side there. Can he get past that McLaren before the first corner? It's going to be very close. And the answer is no. So signs. Held up here. Just like Hamilton was. On his first lap. But. Um, I mean we might as well just call him in now. There's kind of no point. Signs continuing. We might as well send him out there. On that same set of soft tyres. To see. What a bank of time he can put in. It should probably be enough for at least third. We'll pick him up halfway around the lap. So here we go. Carlos Sainz now coming around. And what time can he put in the two green sectors? So here he comes up to the finish line. And that is enough for third. Three tenths of a second off. He's uh, split Magnussen and Vettel. Alpine very, very quick this weekend. Bottas up in sixth for McLaren as well. Very good for him. But uh, Max Verstappen, currently the man to beat. Now, will Sainz get in in time to get some fresh tyres on and also get out soon enough that 
Um, you can grab a little slipstream. Let's see. Yes, we should be able to. I'll send them out now. He's going to give Verstappen a, a slipstream, but he might get one from Zhou Guan Yu. Just a distant one. We'll see what signs is capable of. Somebody went yellow flags there. Don't know what that was. And that's the lockup. It's Kevin Magnussen now here. I think is he behind? No, it was Magnussen ahead. So I wonder if those yellow flags have affected Carlos Sainz. He was yellow in that first sector. So that could be a disaster now for Carlos. I don't know. Timing wise, twenty-eight one. Yeah, three tenths slower than Vettel, for instance, and a tenth slower than um, Max Verstappen, a 30.0 middle sector. It's fine, but nothing remarkable. So he's coming around the final sector now. I don't think it's actually going to be in any improvement for Carlos Sainz as he now comes up to the line. So a 16.4, which is nowhere near good enough. And it's going to be Max Verstappen on pole position tomorrow. Sebastian Vettel, let's see what he can do. He put in a great lap before. He was quicker in the first sector. Fine in the middle sector. He comes up to the line. And he doesn't improve. Only fourth. And I think that is everybody. So, uh, an interesting day of qualifying. That is... Not what we wanted, but Max Verstappen will start on pole position. Kevin Magnussen there in second. Sainz in third. Vettel fourth. Leclerc fifth. Bottas sixth. Perez seventh. Ricardo eighth. Uh, and Russell ninth with Zhou Guan Yu in tenth. It's time for the final touches here on the grid ahead of today's race. Aston Martin performed well during the qualifying session and they're rewarded with a good grid position for the race. It was a pleasure to watch Red Bull's excellent performance during qualifying. Their drivers will now be looking ahead to the race itself and hoping to capitalize. The weather is very overcast here and teams are staring at the sky watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. And there are sure to be some dizzying strategies used here today, here in the Mexican Heights. The question is though, who's going to be the one to climb to the top? Right then, I think we are ready and raring to go. Um, it is going to be an interesting Grand Prix. Do we... Do we give... A brand new, fresh engine to Lewis Hamilton? Because that... Could help him get through this race. Um... I don't know. It's It's definitely a tough decision. Um, right, signs, uh, softer, medium, that looks pretty good. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, I guess, will possibly be a little bit more aggressive. Let's see, so... I mean, Hamilton's time is apparently going to be quicker. Being more aggressive on the two-stopper. But of course, he starts further back, so... Let us see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we perhaps do give him 
a fresh engine. Or do we just give him his freshest? Where is he starting? Let's have a look. Where is Hamilton starting? 12th. I mean, 12th ain't that bad, actually. So let's just give him his freshest possible engine. Uh, we'll save that for Sainz's final two races. Uh, 77, 74. So it will be this one. Um, gearbox wise he's absolutely fine okay then yeah let's go for this let's hope that this uh, works out well for us Carlos Sainz versus Lewis Hamilton for the championship can Lewis Hamilton make his way through on those soft tyres here we go then for the Mexican Grand Prix it's a bit of a cloudy day for the race but the atmosphere as ever is electric taking a look here at Carlos Sainz They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. The race start is mere seconds away. Let's get ourselves ready and raring to go this then for Here this Mexican, Mexican Grand Prix. Grand Prix. <clears throat> Lights, Lights out, out. Away, we go. away we go for the Mexican Grand Prix. Max Verstappen gets off the grid well. Carlos Sainz gets past Kevin Magnussen and he'll be having a great look at Max Verstappen into the first corner. It's going to be side by side, I think, between Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz as they go down towards turn one and Sainz is through. Sainz is through. What a move from Carlos Sainz and they are still side by side. Verstappen is there in uh in second trying to get past but carlos signs is through that is awesome magnuson in third bottas all the way up to fourth what a result for him vettel is fifth hamilton meanwhile has dropped down a couple of places he's lost out to esteban ocon i think or uh, charles leclerc now lewis is on the soft tires he needs to make a move very quickly through this field like a knife through butter um Carlos Sainz, meanwhile, he needs to try and get more than a second ahead of Max Verstappen, and he's going to try and do that early on in this race. Here goes Lewis Hamilton already having a little look at uh, Charles Leclerc down the inside. Doesn't quite manage it there as uh, Leclerc now goes down the inside of uh, Esteban Ocon. Now, Lewis, can you get a good run on the lap two here? He's going to have a little look. And is he going to pull himself wide here? Yes, he does. He's got a fresh engine. He's using ARS. I think he's going to go down the inside of Esteban Ocon here. We would expect Lewis Hamilton to be the fastest man on track. He goes down the inside now, but uh, Ocon stays ahead. And that is pretty massive. That's starting this Grand Prix. We'll pop them back into neutral now. Try and save some of that AR, ARS energy. That is not the right one. This is the one I'm looking for. Yeah. Keep Hamilton on neutral. Carlos Sainz, meanwhile, is a second ahead now of Max Verstappen. Let's keep that going. see if he can continue that going into the next few laps it needs to be more than a second ahead so that DRS doesn't come into it let's uh, focus on Lewis Hamilton we need to try and get him back into the fight here DRS has been enabled. we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive with Lewis as well yep. is available. Understood. Here we go then, Lewis Hamilton, straight through. That's good 
overtake from Lewis. Nice work, Lewis. Carlos Sainz desperately trying to get more than a second ahead. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. We'll pop Lewis back on overtake here. Press overtake. Let's see if he can get himself past Charles Leclerc. Oh, he had a, a little gander. On the yeah, problem for Sainz is he's now within DRS range of Max Verstappen. That's exactly the opposite of what he wanted to happen there. So Verstappen will probably overtake for the lead now. So I think it's up to Sainz to maybe look after his ERS deployment a little bit. So here we go then, Lewis again. With overtake. Overtake press. Overtake press. Uh, okay. Perhaps be a little bit more aggressive than we and were being. As Carlos signs. Two tenths of a second ahead of Max Verstappen. Looks like there's going to be an almighty battle for the lead. We've got Magnussen in that battle as well. In a good place, and here goes Max Verstappen then retaking the lead of this Mexican Grand Prix. They're side by side going into the stadium section. And now Sainz has just got to stay with him. He's going to have DRS here. Red Bull gained the place. You just have DRS to get yourself back past. Hampton, meanwhile, still struggling to get past Charles Leclerc. Let's just have a quick look at tyres, tyre selection. So it's only Norris that is on soft tyres as well. Signs, meanwhile, has been passed again. Going to neutral now for him. Let's uh, just zoom it forward a little bit here. We're expecting Lewis to stay with Charles Leclerc. We might as well look after his tyres a bit. Sort of need to wait for those gaps to open up. Now this could be the chance. You can see Leclerc just dropping off the back of the car in front. You can do this. Let's see what he can do here, Lewis. An overtake will be available. This is a good run for Lewis. Zoom forward. Overtake again in the next DRS zone. Here we go. Lewis is through. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We have got yellow flags out there, don't know what for. Oh, there's a spin. And it was George Russell actually. Russell has spun the at turn one now and I think Here's George Russell. Yeah, Russell was wasn't far off the leaders actually, so he spun. So Lewis now up to tenth position in this race. And let's see. If Lewis can get himself past Giovinazzi. Just 
gonna pop them on a harvest. Just charge that pack. Just for the first bit of the lap. Give them a chance. Gonna, on lift off. We do require fuel lift we're just going to keep Carlos oh, signs in the game. He is one stopping, so you know I'm expecting him to perhaps take it a little easy through certain bits of this race. Now we could get Lewis past. Overtake press. Overtake press. That's Giovinazzi here, I think. Pressure on Lewis. He is he going to go this. down the inside, Lewis Hamilton, with a great opportunity. So we are low on battery at the moment. And does make the move stick, that was good. And just charge the pack. And now should be able to... Yeah, copy. Temps are climbing. Temps are now climbing. Be able to stay with the guys in front with DRS, but struggling a little bit. Giovinazzi could get himself back through here. Nope, doesn't manage it. So no need to charge the pack. Yeah, let's, let's, push. let's have a look at his gap to the leader. So he's only 7.1 actually off leader uh, Kevin Magnussen right now. Um, and you can see Verstappen battling with him. Carlos signs just Biden is time because Bottas is in fourth at the moment. Now this is where Lewis could really make his uh, extra speed pay here. may well have a little look down the inside here well, he did have a, a little look but didn't fully commit which was probably a good thing but let's see if Lewis can go for it again on Joe Guan Yu here making his way through the field Does pull to the inside, had a, a gander, but didn't have enough there. So we're going to let uh, this play through just a little bit. Back into neutral now. Keep Lewis Hamilton close. We're going to go light on the tyres and see if he can stay close. Oh, somebody's oh. crashed. Somebody has crashed. I don't know who. I th could be one of the back markers here. Crashed. Was it Latifi? Yes, yes Latifi crashed at now, turn 17. Oh, oh no, it's turn one, I think, that, actually. Yeah, it didn't, uh, didn't actually change anything there. Right. 
So and Lewis has got coast just a little. maybe about yep. five laps until he needs to be into the pits. Yeah. And think about the lifting coast. But yeah, there's kind of no point Lewis passing these guys. Let's just keep him out there as long as he can so that he can go more aggressive. He's in the pit window now. Ocon spun out there as well. And yeah, Sainz just doing a good job out front. You know, building that lead to Bottas in third place. Hamilton, if he comes in now, will get some free air. And that's kind of all he wants, really. Oh, Magnussen's made a mistake. I think Magnussen oh, has locked up there. there. Yeah. So Magnussen is now kind of out of the picture for the lead. Right now, Lewis is going to be aggressive. We're not going to use any ERS, though. So, yeah, some people are coming in now. And only for Lewis, he might not get his undercut now. It's a good stint so far. Alright, so Lewis down to standard. And here we go then, Lewis Hamilton is coming into the pit lane. He's going on to his hard tyres. He's going to be more aggressive. Where is he going to come out? You're looking good at the moment. As Sainz is battling away with Max Verstappen, they are battling for the lead of this Grand Prix. Martin have just gained a race position. Now Lewis comes out just behind Bottas. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for Lewis Hamilton, right? Now then, let's deploy his ERS. Let's see what he can do here. What can he actually produce? Sign still side by side with Max Verstappen. Signs will continue to get DRS. And there he goes. Lewis Hamilton now within DRS range of his old mate Valerie Bottas. So Hamilton will look to take advantage of this here. They've moved up a place. Might not get the move done here, but Carlos Sainz still battling with Max Verstappen. Right, time to. Give it a little bit of welly. As Verstappen looks like he's going to make another move for the lead here. And he does. Don't 
Don't know who's gonna get DRS here. It's signs. That's actually worked out pretty much perfectly for him. As Lewis Hamilton now should be able to make the move on Bottas. And he does. Bottas is come trying on. to come back at him. Didn't manage it. And now he's chasing after Yuki Tsunoda. We'll be trying to get into that DRS window. Bottas will have a look, but doesn't manage it now then. Carlos signs out of the one second window of Max Verstappen. That's pretty good. And Bottas trying to get within that range. Not quite working for him. And let's have a little look at uh, tyres everybody is on. So Lewis Hamilton is actually the leader of the hard tyre runners. Remember, Lewis will have to come in again, though. Okay, that was a purple lap. I'll let you know if the situation changes. Sign sets a purple lap. Verstappen staying out there for now. And can Lewis get past Sonoda here? He should be able to. That's whether Lewis can also get Sergio Perez here as well. Oh, I can't believe Sonoda managed to get past Perez. Lewis has got to hope that these are coming into the pits pretty soon. Well, if he can get past Perez here, that would be a big help. Oh, and he's having a look at both of them. This is a great move from Lewis. Now that is what you call an overtake. That was brilliant from Lewis Hamilton. Pretty well executed. And now he should be able to, to push on. And get out of there. Martin and moving up the field. The traffic, and now he's in a bit of free air. Twenty-eight seconds off his teammate Carlos Sainz. I'm going to put him on to balance now as well. The Sainz now onto his optimal pit lap. The hot and temps just going to need some lift and coast. Might as well. <clears throat> Understood. See if we can harvest a bit of energy for him. So Lewis coming around the final corner. Where is Lewis going to jump up to here? Copy. Hamilton coming through, and that is fastest lap for Lewis Hamilton. And it looks like he's going to come out ahead of Kevin Magnussen, which is pretty amazing. Would not have expected that. needs to keep an eye on Max Verstappen because he's the one that is going to be racing him but the longer signs can go on these tyres the better so focus on just bringing your tyre temperatures back under control for the moment Okay. Uh, 
and recharge off. All good. So I was just over a second ahead of Kevin Magnussen. Signs is losing time to Max, but I do think he needs to maximise the stint. So box is left. So Carlos signs into the pit lane. Understood. Where is he going to come back out? You would imagine ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Let's see. So signs away. Here comes Max Verstappen. Yeah, there you go. So Max Verstappen now takes the lead. But he's on older tyres. And a decent chunk older tyres than Carlos Signs. Back it out. Back it out. We got yellow flags. In sector three, and multiple cars have crashed, and it is a safety car. Well, 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 that—that that is what you call that just crashed? very Let's interesting. I think it now, was uh, Esteban. Oh no, it wasn't. It was the Williams car, and well, he's just smacked into the back of this Alpha Tauri. You can see. Oh my God, that is a huge oh, crash. And I assume that was uh, Sonoda and Albon. So, it is safety car o'clock, and that is hard to read, really, of who that benefits. You would suggest that um, signs it benefits a lot because he doesn't have to strain his tyres much more. Um... You know, Lewis, it benefits in a way because it closes that gap. In this lap. But Lewis has to pit again. And all that time that he's just made up. Pushed. It's instantly gone. So here we go then. Carlos signs. Now, I wonder if Lewis would benefit from deploying as well. Let's see if we can both get ahead of Max Verstappen here. And here we go then. Okay. We are on our way once again here in Mexico. Prep ourselves for a push. Okay. And Carlos Sainz straight away is going to have a look at Max Verstappen. And he tries to go around the outside. The and they are side by side going into turn two. And Carlos Sainz okay. is through. That's an awesome move. Lewis Hamilton is going to try as well to get past his old nemesis, Max Verstappen. Uh, keep at it. Doesn't happen this time around. But Looks signs like can now bolt, basically, on his brand new hard tyres. Uh, a decent amount younger than. Max Verstappen's and here we go then Lewis Hamilton is going to be trying the same on Max Verstappen he's using overtake but not quite there yet Max Verstappen under big pressure but Lewis Hamilton is under pressure as well he can't afford to make a mistake Lewis Hamilton getting right in behind Max Verstappen. He's tucking in behind. He's obviously trying to be aggressive as well to make this two stop strategy work. And here we go then. Lewis Hamilton now lining up the inside line. 
And Lewis Hamilton is going to go down the inside of Max Verstappen. And he's up into second place. That is huge for this race if he can make it stick. Still side by side. But I think Lewis has got it now. And now Lewis has got to try and break the one second window of Max. That's what Lewis can't really afford a DRS battle with Max but from 12th position on the grade Lewis Hamilton now in a second pretty much on merit DRS is enabled so we're low on battery at the moment yep that is fastest lap, you have fastest lap of the race. The DRS is going to be enabled. Signs has run out of VRS now. Which could mean he'll have a big problem with. Lewis Hamilton right behind him and yep I think we have got out of the one second window of Max Verstappen which is huge but now we've got the top two title fighters on track be desperately fighting here. Lewis Hamilton of course on a different strategy to Carlos. Lewis with DRS. I'm a little look at Carlos signs. Could be the moment. No. Still fighting. And that brings Max Verstappen back into the fight. Kevin Magnussen is back into the fight. And I'll tell you who else is. Sebastian Vettel. Now then, Lewis Hamilton. Staying nice and close, he does look the quicker at this stage of the race. The signs is bold and firm. But here we go, this could be the moment as we pass the halfway mark for this Grand Prix. Lewis Orton's DRS. Max Verstappen closing right in on them as Sebastian Vettel is having a look down the inside in the background there. He goes down the inside of his teammate Kevin Magnussen and he is through. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton struggling to get past his teammate now. may well play the long game here just going to need some lift and coast uh, okay. I guess the same for Carlos Sainz so I think about the lift off ok and Lewis will be going on to those medium tyres later on in this race That pack. It's whether we can both harvest DRS and keep Max for stepping behind. And recharge on. Positive on dash. Recharge on. Okay. Maybe not, because there goes the step and Oh, they're so close to each other here.
That's what we say to Lewis. Look, don't fight your team, mate. And see if we can just keep this gap to Verstappen. Charge our ERS. And look at this. We've now brought the Alpines into it. So it's going to be a five-way battle for the leads here. And it looks like we're bringing Bottas back into it slowly as well. But that's potentially Max Verstappen making his way through. Don't sweat it. Oh, and Lewis. Lewis doesn't have. Oh, no, he does. He does have DRS. And there goes for stepping through. That has put you P2. Right. So no need to charge the pack. Here we go then. Oh, there's a there's been a crash. There's been a crash, and I think it was the two Alpine cars. We watched that happen. It was Vettel that spun. He's made the mistake. Look again. It involves Sebastian Vettel. That looked like a very nice. I think they're okay. Recharge off when you're ready. I'm tempted to let Hamilton through and let him push because he's got another pit stop to make. Here we go then, signs. Trying to make a move on Verstappen, I think we'll make the move. Fantastic work. And I think Lewis is going to make the move as well here. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Yep, Hamilton goes down the inside. Makes it through. Still side by side with Verstappen here. Weirdly, Verstappen is fine. So here we go. I think that's going to be the least amount of time lost. Signs are still in the battle. Science is still probably going to win this Grand Prix. But this will allow Lewis to do what he needs to do. And if we could have an overtake press, overtake press. Understood. So here we go, and then out of the final corner, Lewis should be able to. 
catching past Max Verstappen. He's through. This garage has just gone mental. And now Lewis attacks. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. There should be more than enough for Lewis to build out a gap to the statement. I think Hamilton's okay. Yeah, copy. Temps are climbing. Temps are now climbing. That's now where the signs can get past for Stepman. This is the problem with Verstappen. Oh, we have got a crash. Now, is that going to be a safety car? We've had a crash. I think it was Norris that crashed, but I don't think. No, no safety car. Still pushing hard. Oh, now within the pit window, Let's there's a red flag. Happened, there's a red flag. What's so happened? What's happened? No, Lewis is. Oh, Lewis has crashed into the path of Verstappen and uh, has signs. Very, very has signs. Is signs out? Is Lewis out? There's a red flag. There is a red flag. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Now, what has happened here? Lewis is out. Lewis Hamilton is out of the Grand Prix. Now then, how many laps do we have to go here? I think mediums are the ones to go on. I think they will last long enough. Um, annoyingly, I, I don't know if Science has any other. The track is ready, and so are the drivers. Any other damage? They've gone on softs, Verstappen, by the looks out. And away we go. So Science is away. Science hasn't got damage, luckily. But he's on brand new medium tyres. He's already been overtaken by Vettel here. And this is, uh, well, red flag caused by Lewis Hamilton locking up and going straight into the wall. That is huge for the championship right now. Signs one of the few on medium tyres. I don't see how Max Verstappen is going to survive to the end of the race. I really don't. But that could be a big, big moment because if Sainz wins this race, he will be 17 points ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Going into the final 
two Grand Prix of the year. And that's an at least, by the way. So let's uh, keep pushing forward. I think in the first few laps here, we've just had a spin. I think we're going to see Max Verstappen pull out a good lead. And it's going to be later on that signs. Alpine just advanced. Sees the real benefits of being on these Sounds medium like tires. Sainz just has to wait this out, I think. We don't want to be lulled into... That's a good overtake from ...being aggressive and running out of tyres. We've got plenty on these tyres till the end of the race. So Sainz back up to third here. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. We're into the, the final 10 laps or so here. Sainz has got nearly 20% extra tyres. You can see now, lap times are, are getting short for Sainz. And I think realistically we just let this run until the final few laps and then unleash the potential of signs as long as he stays relatively close he's gonna have this in the bag and he may well get faster slap as well which would take him to 18 points ahead of Hamill Verstappen's in I don't really know why but Verstappen is in Don't know if something went wrong on Verstappen's car. But yeah, Sainz is now pulling on ahead. And to be honest with you, I don't even think Sainz has to push. I think he's going to easily do this. So the red flag completely changed this race and could potentially still change the championship now. I was saying science doesn't have to push, but Sebastian Vettel is coming back at him here. And it's going to have a little look with DRS. But now we might as well push hard with signs. We do not require any fuel lift off. And get him yeah. more than enough ahead. And we'd like to try and get faster slap with him as well. So that he had the, has the best opportunity. Yeah. So Carlos signs through the stadium section. And now onto the final lap of this race okay final lap will Real he quick. be able to set fast the slap so focus on just bring your tire temperatures back under control for the moment i don't know i don't know Matt, well max has oh, okay. now set fast the slap of the race so potentially not but he will give it everything he will give it everything and what what a weekend for carlos signs of course lewis hamilton we messed up his strategy in qualifying and uh, he ran out of fuel, had to start 12th, did an amazing job to get himself in the race for the podium, but uh, made the mistake, crashed out of this race, caused a red flag, which allowed Carlos Sainz to go for the better strategy. And Carlos Sainz is going to take 25 points from this Grand Prix. He could potentially take 26, depending on how fast this final lap is. Is he on track 
I don't think so. Carlos Sainz comes round. He's going to do what he needed to do this weekend and win okay, that's the flag. here in Thank you, everyone. Mexico. Really Kevin Magnussen finishes second with Vettel in third. Daniel Ricciardo finishes fourth. Bottas a brilliant fifth. Joe Guan Yu finishes in sixth. Then Leclerc, then Stroll, then Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher rounds out the top ten. He edges out. Max Verstappen right at the end there. But the big story today, Lewis Hamilton retired from the Grand Prix with a mistake not far from the end, around about 23 laps from the finish. He was maybe two laps away from coming in and putting on those medium tyres. And it would have been an exciting finish, I'm, I'm sure of that. But instead, Lewis Hamilton is out and Carlos Sainz has won and takes over the lead of the championship. What a fantastic result for Carlos Sainz. This podium is a brilliant reward for everyone's hard work over the weekend. And with that, the Sainz name remains engraved in F1 history. Well, what a result for Alpine as well. You have to say it's it's a big, big result, isn't it? A big, big result. But there we have all three drivers that are taking home the silverware along with the most valuable points. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. Just a really solid showing out there, which is exactly what they needed. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Coming up in the next round is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix as we head to Brazil. Join us next time at Interlagos. Well, there you go then. Carlos Sainz wins the Grand Prix. Uh, and in the championship, well, 17 points ahead of Lewis Hamilton. If Carlos Sainz finishes second in the next two Grand Prix, then he will be world champion. There's no doubt about that. Lewis Hamilton has to win, has to have fastest lap, and hope that Carlos Sainz finishes below him in the championship. Uh, none of the rest of the top five in the in the championship actually scored today, uh, meaning that they, you know quite a few people got a little bit closer. Leclerc up to sixth place, uh, you know, uh, sharing that with uh, seventh place Kevin Magnussen. Uh, Ricardo solidifying his position in eighth. Vettel only ninth, and Joe Guan Yu getting into the top ten ahead of Sergio Perez. Very very good for him into the constructors then um, of course we are on the verge of 700 points which is pretty awesome to say the least um, McLaren now 10 points behind Alfa Romeo Alpine move ahead of Ferrari and comfortably so in the race for fourth in the championship in terms of dev points none for Lewis Hamilton quite a lot of uh, experience for signs which means he now gets another death point and that makes him even more formidable going into the final two grand prix of the season the first one is going to be at the autodromo jose carlos pa uh, pacha in the sao paulo grand prix always a cracker there in brazil lewis hamilton needs to win now the final two grand prix of the season if you look at his form it's not great. It's not great going into it. I would like to... I wish you could actually see that. I don't know if that's a thing. Let's go... Is it on circuits? Yeah, so in uh, the USA, Lewis Hamilton finished fourth as Carlos Sainz won the Grand Prix. In Japan, Car uh, Lewis Hamilton won as Carlos Sainz finished fifth. That was a big result that day. Singapore, Lewis Hamilton won. The Italian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton finished third as Carlos Sainz uh, finished down in 16th position. 
Dutch Grand Prix, of course, Lewis Hamilton finished third from the back, but generally it has been Carlos Sainz's second half of the year, it, it has to be said, and, you know, going into these final two races, they are pretty much equal. Eight wins, 15 podiums each, Lewis Hamilton with the eight fastest laps, but that retirement, uh, and, you know, that is a huge, huge retirement um, here towards the end of the season. And it, it's going to be big of, of who's going to actually come out on top here. Um, I want to have a look at Lewis's car. Did his engine take a hit? Oh, my goodness me. Let's have a little look. Yeah, not great for Lewis's gearbox. Will need changing. Luckily for him, he does have a couple that are in okay shape. But that could cost him. It really could. That big mistake could cost him the world championship and it's all going to be down to the last three grand prix of the season so if you have enjoyed that then give it a big th uh, last two grand prix i should say if you have enjoyed that give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more f1 manager videos and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye